so we have to we have to calculate uh, national income using the expenditure method and also using the income method and how does the national income under both the methods come to the same that is the question that we had yesterday and uh, here is the answer now these numbers that you see on the screen we need to replot them how do we replot them this is how i would replot them so i have in the first column manufacturing company in the second column i have the product made by the uh, manufacturing company the third column tells me who did it sell it to so that is company to whom the product was sell is given now please pay attention income method income method so a uh, company x i'm sure from the previous slide you will recollect company x sold the car to y for 400000 and that means this 400000 is income for company x and if this 4000 400000 is income for company x correspondingly friends it becomes an expenditure for company y isn't it so uh, what is income of company x which is 400000 it becomes an expenditure for company y because company y has bought this car at 400000 likewise company y produced fridge sold it to z for 15000 so 15000 15000 becomes income for y and the same 50000 15000 becomes expenditure for z because z has paid 15000 for buying this fridge and likewise z produced and sold tv to x for 70000 so 70000 becomes income of z and that is how it is coming under the column income and uh, this same uh, uh, sale of tv which is purchased by x for 70000 it becomes expenditure for x and that is our friends you can see very clearly in front of you on the screen as to how under both the methods income method and the expenditure method when you compute the national income it is going to be same